So today I would like to do a review on my King Tailgater automatic satellite TV antenna. Okay, and we have a, a VQ4500 uh, satellite dish, portable satellite dish. And I'm not going to get into the real specifics on how to hook up the satellite dish to your RV or camper. Um, but basically, uh, there's some programming involved when you get your box and you want to set up your remote control and pick the state that you're in uh, where you're RVing to or where your local uh, for your local channels you can call DISH and um, and they will get you the local channels but I'm not going to get into the real technicality of the setup of the system and here we're using the Wally uh, receiver and it's uh, connected to the TV through an HDMI cable and as you can see now everything is is working just fine so currently we are uh, in Mississippi here and the weather outside looks like there's a thunderstorm that's about to roll in so out here you, you can see uh, as far as the cloud coverage everything is uh, getting pretty dark and there's clouds that are starting to roll in thunderstorm clouds and we have good reception right now and good signal so since we're expected to get some 40 to 50 mile an hour winds uh, I actually have this thing up on the roof right now I mean it's portable and you can put it wherever you like uh, I seem to get some pretty good reception up, up here instead of leaving it in the grass uh, this particular model comes with um, uh, two coax uh, ports, input ports. Um, this one here is just a blank, just a blank cap, and my main antenna is plugged in to that. But it's good to uh, operate two different receivers, and it comes with a 50-foot coax cable, where you can place uh, wherever you want, uh, further away from the rig, you know, or your camper. Uh, where we get better better signal this particular situation here I have like I said it's up on the roof and I actually have a tree right here next to the camper and we're still getting pretty good uh, pretty good signal so the rains are starting to pick up a little bit and, the pick up. Uh, and it's definitely uh, a lot of cloud coverage And on the outside of the uh, on the RV, I have um, this side. I have labeled going to the inside uh, coax to the inside near the TV, and this side here goes to an outside plug, uh, which is for like an outside TV on the other side. But this one goes to the inside, so I don't have a cable going through my window or through a door. Um, I just have the cable going directly from the from the satellite dish, right right to this area here and then this area is closest to my TV on the inside well here comes the rain and you can see that the raindrops are falling and high winds are blowing a lot of people say you get bad reception you know under cloudy conditions or thunderstorm skies so that's the reason for my test here. I just want to put this uh, the tailgater through the test today. So the back of the receiver is pretty simple connections. There's a HDMI plug that'll go from the back of the receiver to the to the TV, and there's the uh, that outside uh, coax plug uh, feeds through the through the unit and it comes into this area. So I just plug the receiver into here, and and this is where we get our picture here and one reason I picked the uh, the King tailgater it did have some pretty good reviews um, but I like that it's portable and the reason why I like it that it's portable sometimes you're in a lot of RV sites that actually have um, a lot of tree coverage you're in a lot of tree covered areas and you have the option and the ability to move the uh, move the the the, uh, the dish to an, a more open area. I mean, it, like I said, it comes with 50 feet of cable, so if you have an open area, you're able to manipulate it uh, into an open site. 
versus a rooftop mounted unit um, that you see. That means you have to put the whole RV in an open area in order to watch uh, TV. So that's one of the pros. I don't have any cons yet because um, it is a thunderstorm and rain and high winds and we still have great reception. And we're supposed to have some really high winds here uh, and thunderstorms in Mississippi. Uh, and we're actually from Chicago, so this is what we have here in good old Mississippi. Okay, so here we are in Mississippi and you can see that the storm system is moving right here where we are, uh, right in Biloxi as a matter of fact and there's some severe thunderstorms and a lot of rain coming this way apparently I still have a picture big storms are moving through and the dish is doing its job so thumbs up on the uh, king tailgater doing a wonderful job and uh, thanks for watching and definitely recommend the tailgater to whoever is looking for a portable satellite unit